Hi, welcome back to the Aquados channel. I'm Melissa and I have a really interesting story to share today. If you haven't already read the title of this video, this is not clickbait. I actually went to the dentist and my dental receptionist was psychic and gave me a full on psychic reading after my um, dental appointment. And it was a really crazy, unexpected experience for me. And it was so, I don't even want to say bizarre, but like almost reassuring and like life changing almost. Maybe um, that I like, I had to make a video and just share it because like, what the fuck? Okay, so this was about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. And I had a dentist appointment and I've gone there like two or three times before. So they like, they know I'm in a band, but like, I don't know if they know like really anything else other than that I'm a musician and I go on tour and that's why I'm really bad at scheduling my next appointment because I never know when I'm gonna be home. So I had a lot of anxiety being there. First of all, I'm really scared of dentists. I had an incident about three years ago where I had to go there a lot and have a lot of cavities filled and it was really fucking scary and I hated it. So going to the dentist kind of freaks me out a little bit because I'm really afraid of like the little pokey thingies and the <laughs> drilling. And I don't like that stuff. Um, but anyways, you know, respect to dentists, you know, go off, but it just, it still scares me because yeah okay but anyways so i already have a lot of anxiety going to dentists and the receptionist knows that and especially because my dentist appointment was like originally supposed to be canceled because it was gonna be for a day that i was supposed to be on tour but since the tour got canceled because of the pandemic um my mom's like oh you can still go to your dentist appointment and i was so sussed out to go to the dentist because this is like before the real like quarantine started but like right when it was like really starting to like start you know what I mean there were a lot of people in the waiting room and like there was a coughing baby and I was like get me the fuck out of here and I was like text my mom like I should not have came like what the fuck why did I do this like this was a terrible decision to come I should have just canceled it and waited but whatever and so I get called in and the dentist, like, you know, he does the thing, cleans my teeth, I don't have cavities. Ding! I go up to the receptionist to pay at the end of my appointment, and she looks at me, and I remembered at that point that she had actually given my mom, like, a psychic reading, and I remember my mom had told me, like, I think, like, in January or February, my mom had called me and was like, it was when I was on tour, and she was like, oh, um, the dental receptionist told me that you're gonna be really famous and like, um, you're a really good singer. And I was like, oh, like, thank you, that's so nice. And I don't know, I didn't really think much of it, but other than my mom being like, oh, she's psychic, she knows stuff. And I was like, oh, cool. So my mom had already talked to her before, said she was capable of psychic abilities. I didn't really know how much to trust. Sometimes my mom exaggerates. If you're watching this mom, I'm sorry, but it's true. So uh, anyways, uh, the receptionist looks at me and she says, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. And I knew she was referencing like the pandemic because the news was playing on the TV in the, like, the waiting room. And it was like, you know like blasting about people dying and everything you know that's happening with that and she was like you're gonna be okay you're not going to get sick your family is not going to get sick your mom will be fine and your dad will be fine and i was just like wow like thank you and then she said i knew this would happen i knew last year that there was going to be a really big global disaster where a lot of people get really sick and then I was like, whoa, that's kind of crazy. And then the other like um, dental assistant, she walked by and she's like, listen to her. She knows things. She knows things. She knew this last year. She told me and I was like, damn, 
okay, I'm listening. And this was before lockdown again. So she was like, LA is next. They're going to be locked down. Everywhere's going to be on lockdown, the whole world. And I was just like, fuck, probably right. And she was right. And um, she said that she thinks it's going to last six to eight months, which really freaked me out. But I talked to Kayla about it today, and Kayla said that the first case was um, in October of last year. So if you do the math, October, November, December, January, February, March is six months, and then April, May, eight months, so maybe till May, you know. <laughs> Hope it's not um, <laughs> from when she told me that. But she told me that, and I was like, dang, like, that's crazy. You really think it's going to be that long? She's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, but she said that it'll be okay, and that this is temporary, it's not forever, and that this will pass. And also, I'm sorry, I keep looking at myself and not at the viewfinder. Um, okay, I need to look at the viewfinder, sorry. <laughs> I'm, like, looking at myself and making sure, because my I know my forehead looks fucking oily as hell but okay let's get back to the story so um yeah so she said she thinks it's gonna last six to eight months and i was like shit then she starts getting personal with me and then she said there are girls in your life that you're going to become closer to than ever and you guys need each other and i know that she was referencing um jackie and kayla which I thought was really, really nice to hear. And we actually have been getting a lot closer, even though we're not together physically. We're talking a lot more, communicating more. And like, I'm really happy for that and to have like that bond and love for them. I miss them so much, but um, it was nice to hear that we were gonna grow even closer. I was like, yes, like go off friendship, go off sisterhood i love that for us then she had to go and straight up read me drag me to filth and uh she was like oh you have a guy in your life you need to let go of and i was like stop no <laughs> and she's like you need to move on honey like you keep dating jerks and you know they're jerks and i'm like t dang why'd you have to read me like that like damn and she straight up called me out and she was like you're gonna meet the love of your life later on in your life when you are older and you're gonna go to work and you're gonna come home she's like she's like they're telling me and by the way the whole time she's saying all these things to me she keeps going they're telling me they're telling me this she would like close her eyes and be like they're telling me like She's psychic, like, oh my god, they're telling her, holy shit. So she's like, they're telling me that you'll come home, like, from work or a show or tour or something, like, you come home, and they're going to be there, and they're going to be like, how was your day? I missed you. And when she said that, I start fucking bawling. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that, like, oh my god. It was, like, nice to hear, but also, like, later in my life like for real damn like i really gonna be single that long keep dangerous for that long like for real but honestly like i don't even need to fuck with that or even go there in my brain because i'm so busy and focused on you know the band and everything you know it would be nice to have a little boo you know but uh <laughs> she told me that and i was like fuck okay for sure for sure Oh, she was like, I know your mom can be overbearing at times and jump to conclusions a lot, but you need to reassure her to not do that and to just relax, go with the flow, and just reassure her that everything is going to be okay. Give her hugs, love her. So, mommy, I love you if you're watching this. Um, it's going to all be okay. Um, you know, I'm spending a lot of time at home, obviously. <laughs> I can't leave the house. So, i um, been with my family a lot, and um, it's actually been good. So, I'm happy with that. And I've been a lot more productive. I've been filming a lot more videos, editing a lot of stuff. I'm editing a lot of footage from the tour we did last year and I'm gonna be doing vlogs and um, the other girls are still doing their stuff too. So stay tuned for a lot of new content. If you enjoyed this story time, wait, am I done with the story time? Hold on. 
I feel like I'm leaving out so much. <gasps> I'm leaving out so much stuff that she told me. Oh my God. Okay. I talked to her for like two hours, by the way, too. Like I stayed two hours past my appointment to talk to her and was like straight up crying in the office. Like, like tears, like bad, like crying, like, <laughs> thank you. But, um, what else? Oh, she was like, um, there, like, what, like, someone, uh, you're gonna meet someone in Blink-182, or someone like Blink-182, and I was like, my manager managed Blink-182 for 20 years, and she was like, uh, mm-hmm, yes, he's gonna get you a record deal, and I was like, okay, T, I hope so. She starts, like, singing a song, she's like, don't go crying, to them. she's like, what song is that, and I was like, that's a Paramore song. And she's like, they're telling me you're going to make a song like that. And I start crying again <laughs> because Paramore is the band and the reason why I wanted to start a band in the first place. Haley Williams is one of my all-time favorite singers. I have like this distinct, special, specific memory of me 15 years old. Um, I played um, keyboard in my first band in high school and we had played uh, a place called Chain Reaction and we sold pre-sale tickets and like no one came to our show. But I had the best time playing and I just love performing and playing shows. And I got home after the show and I was jumping on my bed, listening to my iPod Nano, playing Paramore and was like, oh my God, I wanna do this forever. I wanna start my own band just like Haley. And then for her to like, like, be connected to Paramore, not know anything about me, and she's like, they're telling me this song, they're singing this song to me. How would she know that? Like, how could she just randomly guess that band? I don't know, like, and guess Blink-182. Like, how did she know that without knowing me? Like, it just really tripped me out, and like, I thought it was really beautiful and awesome, and I really um, admire Paramore, and I'm like, damn, I'll make a song, like, ain't it fun? That's a bop, like yeah and she's like and you're gonna make that song and it's gonna make you a lot of money you're gonna be okay she's like keep doing youtube videos because you're gonna be famous on there and i was like Ooh, okay so uh if you're watching this thanks um <laughs> thank you for helping me on my journey to become more famous but uh make sure you're subscribed so we can start getting monetized because we are a thousand subscribers away from getting monetized so please help us out by clicking that little red button and telling your friends too because what better way to bond during the quarantine than with music with your friends be like hey check out this band don't you love it it's okay you know just spread the word everything helps but i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's basically the gist of what happened so moral of the story is when you go get your teeth clean make sure you are very nice to everyone because you never know they can give you a psychic reading stay tuned for new videos coming soon and lots of lots and lots of new other stuff that we're working on behind the scenes and i'm going to be throwing a birthday party on my birthday and i'm gonna live stream it so Stay tuned for details on that because I want you to be there and you're all invited. So see you guys way before then because we're going to be uploading a ton of new stuff. So see you very soon and have a great rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world. Keep rocking and rolling. Bye.